Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, I just the other day did a video on whether or not Alaska is going to go forward for the season and I said yes, but I think it's going to be delayed and wow, less than a week later, it's delayed. That's right, we saw some cruise lines went out and uh, canceled cruises in March. And there were still other cruise lines out there that still had sailings up. And we said, well, uh, how long before that shoe drops? And well, it, some of them dropped today because you no longer have Princess Holland America and Carnival sailing in March. In fact, Carnival cancelled a lot more cruises all the way up until September and October on some particular ships. Uh, five in all that were longer cruises or they were just, you know what, that's it. We're not going to use these ships because we're going to send them in the dry dock at this time and we're going to get them fixed up. So they may not even attempt to put any of the COVID things that they need to do for the CDC on any of those ships until they go into dry dock. They may be saving some money that way instead of trying to get all their ships up and running as fast as possible even though they have quite a few ships you know they have 11 ready to go as far as being able to go for the test cruises and things like that they're deciding okay we're going to use this ship this ship this ship this ship and those ships we're putting aside for now and we'll work on them later and quite frankly that's a smart decision now their subsidiaries holland america and we have Princess Cruises have canceled all of their sailings all the way up until the middle of May. So even further along. And by canceling some of their cruises, they've already canceled, I believe Princess has canceled uh, six sailings up until May that were going to Alaska. And Holland America canceled roughly the same amount. Uh, so that's an awful lot of cruises uh, from the two biggest companies that start sailing to Alaska. Princess and Holland America are by far the leaders in Alaska as far as how many ships sail every year. They have the most of every other cruise line. And we have to now wonder, will Royal Caribbean, will um, Norwegian Cruise Line also follow suit? We know Disney's already done that. They've canceled their Alaska cruises as well. And so now we're set to wonder who else is going to drop the next shoe and cancel into Alaska. And this is worrying a lot of the Alaska towns like Juneau and Ketchikan. Uh, they just... You know, they need cruise ships to keep their town alive, basically, as it's the number one industry in those towns. And they've gone an entire year with no cruises already. So now we have we're at the point where they're, they're seeing their season already being affected. Now, May is not a heavy, heavy cruise month, and it's only canceled until the middle of May so far. But there are a lot of hurdles to jump through before cruises are going to be able to start up and down the coast in that way. And you all know, even if you leave from Seattle, you have to have a Canadian port that you can stop at either on the way there or on the way back in order to get into uh, you know, a, a legal sailing, if you will. So there has to be a Canadian port. Well, Canada right now has a we do still have a travel ban on cruise ships up until Mar uh, sorry, February 28th. And by all signs, there is no way that is being lifted in uh, February. All indications. First of all, you go, uh, the only place that looks maybe promising is the Atlantic coast where they have basically the majority of cases completely under control because of their Atlantic bubble and their travel restrictions. But they've been keeping their cases under control because they haven't allowed tourism into their country, into their provinces. 
So I don't think they're going to be any too eager until numbers start going down in the rest of Canada and the rest of the United States to open up their provincial borders neither. So that would, you know, but they, they don't really get sailings until the fall. So they have time to wait and see what happens. British Columbia, on the other hand, their season starts April and May. And so that's when they start ramping up their season. And June, July, and August are full-blown busiest times a year in Vancouver, BC, and Seattle as well when they're sailing out of that area. Washington's doing not too bad, Washington State, as far as the COVID cases are concerned. I think they have the eighth lowest transmission rate in the United States, so that's not too bad. California, on the other hand, completely the opposite. They are like number one right now uh, in the spread or close to it. So are they any eager to open up cruising in, say, L.A.? And that I don't think so. But Washington, Seattle may have that shot. But in Canada, if they don't have that port to stop in, they cannot stop and make an Alaska trip. They have to have a Canadian port. And uh, there's no sign of that rule being lifted, even temporarily, if things open up. Here in Canada, we look at British Columbia, where Vancouver is the main port heading to Alaska for us. And in British Columbia, the province it resides in, their cases are uh, not at their highest they've ever been, but they're at a steady up and down at numbers way too high that that province is ever going to lift them. They are, has, they are currently still under a lockdown and res travel restrictions and everything in British Columbia. And they, uh, I believe that is suppo supposed to expire on the 8th of January uh, at midnight. However, we'll see what happens because every time you see a lockdown and they say it's still this date, uh, Either they're extended or they are extended and more lockdown procedures put in place. For instance, here in Quebec, uh, the, right, right across the river here from me, they have, were under lockdown now for you know 28 days. It's about to expire and they're saying it's going to continue. And now they have introduced even more restrictions, including a curfew from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m., meaning you cannot leave your house between those hours. You cannot go out for a jog. You cannot walk your dog. You cannot leave your house after 8 p.m. Uh, under tickets of $6,000 per person for breaking those violations. If you're not on your way to work during those hours, and you're not at a job that requires you to be at that job, like a healthcare worker, a grocery store clerk, or something like that, you may face that $6,000 fine. So to think that this uh, cruising in Vancouver is going to open up anytime soon with travel restrictions that are in place and the things that are going on right now, I don't believe it. And now I am in a predicament where we have a group cruise of over 200 people going from Vancouver to Alaska. And we're supposed to sail 20 days after that May 15th deadline. 20 days. Do I think those 20 days are going to be all the difference in the world? Do I think there will be no travel restrictions by then? Do I think the vaccine will have rolled out really, really well by then and everything's going to be rosy? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm in that. I'm in the crosshairs. I almost wish they would have canceled everything until July. So we would have had some kind of, you know, firm number or only April. But no, they went right in the middle of May and very close to when the group cruise is going. What do you do? Do you try and rebook everybody at another date, another year, further away? What do you do? It's, it's, it's a guessing game as a travel agent. It really is. So there you go. Alaska season pretty much gone. All of March gone. Um, I'm predicting April and May, uh, we probably won't see a single cruise ship sailing with passengers until May at the earliest. And that's kind of my prediction right now. And then when we do, it's not going to be 40 and 50. It's going to be one and two and three. And that is 
that's how the pace is going right now. Unfortunately, uh, for everybody who loves cruising and just wants to get out there, but there doesn't seem to be any solutions right now. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think cruising is still going to go forward in May 15th? Or do you think, nope, that's just a temporary deadline and they're going to extend it again past that? Uh, well, hope you appreciate this update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see more tips, more tricks, more travel blogs from around the world. Hit that subscribe button till next time. Have yourself a safe and a great vacation.